Welcome to the Bowtie Breakdown. I'm Gary Moran, the Bowtie Guy, and today I am on the road. I'm out here in Pawtucket, Rhode Island at Anchor Financial with my friend Joe Baptista. Joe, welcome. Thank you, Gary. Thank you for letting us stop by today. So we talked about like the minimum credit scores. Um, yep. That's to get the down payment assistance. Yep. Is there any kind of like a limit or is there a certain amount they have to borrow or they can borrow good for question, that down payment question. assistance? Yeah, yeah. So. Dependent upon the state, uh, in Massachusetts, you can get up to fifty thousand. Wow, they, they, you know, but there's a lot of, you know, I don't want to say red, the, the red key tape. is up to up to right. <laughs> so it's dependent upon the application. Right? Yep. It's dependent on your information as the applicant. Uh, Rhode Island, they have two different programs now. Uh, one is ten thousand, and one is up to fifteen thousand. Okay. Um, so. In, in the 15000 program can help you with both down payment and closing costs, oh, which is okay. kind of cool, yep. right? Uh, and that's something I think we're going to talk about, too, oh, is a yeah. little bit about closing costs. I know we said we mentioned we wanted to talk about that because you have to be prepared for everything, right? Right. A lot of times, and even with someone, you know, I see mortgage companies quoting payments with just principal and interest. No, no, <laughs> we know no taxes a little more to that. No, no taxes, no, no mortgage insurance. I'm like, what, what, what are we doing here? And that, that's going to increase the monthly payment. Of course, that in, right? Yeah, so, with us and with all mortgage professionals, really, there shouldn't be any surprises. Yeah. You know, surprises are good for birthdays, not for yeah, mortgages. Not for okay? mortgages. Not for mortgages. Not for real estate. <laughs> or, or real estate transactions. Yeah, no, no surprises. No surprises. <laughs> so, you know, it, it's just a, a matter of reviewing the information, make sure you're doing it the right way, and, you know, presenting it properly, right? It, it's not it's not rocket science if you, you know, if, if you... Do the research do the and research. find the right program. It, it's it's going to come out right in the end, right? But uh, to talk about closing costs real quick. Yeah, right? let's you, get into you, that. You so want, you had yeah. mentioned um, that it kind of combines closing costs and down payment assistance. So tell us yeah. about that. So yeah, and what are even closing costs, right? So, right. So yeah, why, why do I need those? I don't. <laughs> yeah. want, I, I'm just going to do with, without the closing costs. <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah. So unfortunately, uh, you know, the, you're going to have some lawyers involved in the transaction, yep. right? And whenever you say the word lawyer, you know, there's going to be some some, <laughs> there's some, some fees, fees, right? <laughs> but uh, you know. It's important that this stuff is done right, right? You're talking deeds, you're talking, you know, a lot of financial paperwork, a lot of numbers that go into these title types, searches. Title searches, right? Making sure that you're buying a property that doesn't have someone else's liens on it, yep. right? So it's all going to be done right. Or another right. person claiming ownership, all right. that crazy right. stuff behind right. the right. scenes. Boundaries of your property, right? <laughs> Become you a know, big deal, yes. thing you know, you're, you know, you purchase a house and your deck is on someone else's property. Like, yep. You don't want any of that stuff. So it's money well spent. It's money yep. well spent, but, you know, in general, in, in I'm just kind of giving you you know a general number. You're probably looking at twenty five, three thousand dollars for the legal aspect. You yep. know, so it adds up quick. Um, you know, in, in Gary and, and I, we work with great real estate uh, attorneys. You yep. know, and, and professionals that uh, you know that we can guide you, or you can certainly use your own. Um, but uh, you know, the key is to have someone that knows what they're doing. Yeah, exactly. And, and, Not and just any attorney, somebody that right. kind of knows a little bit about real estate. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, and besides the legal fees, you also have what's called an escrow account, right? You got to establish this escrow, and it's not soup. It's uh, <laughs> <laughs> not chicken escrow. <laughs> no, no, no. Although I do like, uh, but uh, it's we, this is where we hold aside money for your taxes and insurance. And that's what you were talking about, where you see some quotes without that in there. That's why that's important to have that in there, so you know what to yeah, escrow. Leave it in there, because what you know, then you get to the closing table, and you're like, well. I thought my payment was fifteen hundred. Why is it two thousand? Yeah, and you know? that could potentially blow up the deal right yeah. then and there. Right then and there. So, uh, and and then also to be prepared for this amount of money that needs to come out of your pocket for yeah. closing costs. So you could you have two choices, right? With the well, I didn't say choi choices. You have two options, I guess. You can pay those closing costs out of pocket. Yep. Which is hard, you know, because you when you get that escrow account in there too, and your first year homeowners insurance has to be paid in full at closing. You can be looking at five, six grand. Yeah. You know, luckily with us, I'll, I'll throw a little point in here about Anchor. We don't charge any processing or underwriting. Oh, fees. awesome! So there are no lender fees from us. Good to know. Which, again, can you say that again yeah, right into that yeah, camera, no Joe? No lender fees from Anchor, <laughs> which you know it's important because yeah. I see a lot of our competition, especially the you know, I'll, I'll, I'll keep on beating them up. The Rocket Mortgage, twenty five hundred, thirty five hundred dollars yeah. just in processing. Yeah, just a process. Never mind the points and the other junk that they're charging yeah. people. I've seen ten thousand dollars just in legal fees wow. from these guys. Like, wow. Uh, you know, so. Yeah. Look at the details. Look at the details. So, you know, this five to six rand in closing costs, you can pay that out of pocket or you can try to get what's called a seller closing cost credit. Yep. And Gary, my man over here, is really good at getting those. Oh, yeah. We're starting to see a little bit more of the seller concessions now that the market has turned. So right, we right. got um, just recently got one that's uh, giving us 6000 in closing costs. Boom. And that's perfect. Yep. And that, what that does for you, the, the buyer, is it lessens $6,000 out of your pocket. So, you know, keep more money in your pocket for, I never like to see somebody go in the house and have no money. Right. You know, what, what, you know, the water tank goes. Our or, goal as know? real estate professionals 
at least for me as the real estate agent, I'm sure Joe's on the same page. My goal for any of my clients is to try to limit how much they spend out of pocket. Exactly. Like exactly. The, as, if I can get you in a house for a couple of grand out of your pocket and the rest sure. is either loans right. or borrowed, fantastic. As long as the payment is something you can yes. afford, right? Use as much of the bank's money as you can. Yes. Use as much of the bank's money as, as you can. Why as not? Long as, you can, why as not? long as the monthly payment is comfortable, that's what you need to do to keep that money out of the pocket. And, and that's what we're going to focus on, my company and, and my staff here. We focus on your budget. We focus on your monthly payment. Yep. We want to make sure that you're going to live with this thing. We don't want you eating macaroni and cheese out of the box every night. It's okay every once in a while, but yeah. not every day. You know. So. Yep. Yeah. And again, that's one of the points of why I really like working with you guys over here at Anchor because I know that right up front, you, you're already talking to the borrower about the monthly payment. That's something that I preach to them as we're going through because a lot of people get entailed into the, I'm approved for X amount. Yes, that's great, but what is your monthly payment? It's usually my first question. And then I follow it up with, are you comfortable with that? Oh, no, well, okay, that's that's again why I like that because right off the bat, you, they know what their monthly payment is. So thank you, thank you. Um, with the closing cost and the down payment assistance now, is it kind of like another loan? Like, how does that work? Is it a Good loan, question. is it a grant? Excellent question. So. There, there were grants um, in, in back in yep, the day. That's why I'm asking. There were grants. You know. <laughs> now they're down payment assistance loans, but they they come in the form of the ten thousand dollar down payment assistance, yep. right? It's an interest free loan, so you don't have to make monthly payments on it. And that's what I was getting at, right? So in so thirty years from now, when you sell that house or refinance, or two years from now if you refinance, you either just have to pay off that ten thousand, yep, or subordinate it. That what subordinate means that it would stay as that. Ten thousand dollars second. Gotcha. But someday you got to pay it back. Right. But at least it doesn't grow in interest. It's ten thousand today. It's ten thousand thirty years. Yep. It's not like the, the note, the mortgage note that has the interest right. on it. It's it's another payment. Right. right. So essentially, they would have a couple of different payments, or so with that ten thousand one, just the, just the one regular mortgage payment, no separate ten thousand dollar mortgage. Oh, okay. On ten thousand. On the fifteen thousand one, right? That one does have a monthly payment. Okay. And you would pay it off in fifteen years. So some people prefer this one because. The payment's like 130 bucks a month more, yep. right? So you would have two mortgage payments in this in yep. this instance, where the, with the fifteen thousand dollar one, and that's but, the one I was thinking about with the extra payment. The extra payment, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, no, but you're right, you're right. So the um, but what's nice about the fifteen thousand one too is that you can include closing costs and down payment. Oh, so you can sandwich yeah, both of them yeah. into it. That was the bow tie breakdown. I'm Gary Moore, the bow tie guy. This is my friend Joe Baptista from Anchor Financial. That was first time home buyer programs. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.